camera and your microphone and place the bids uh, using your voice. Or alternatively, and probably the easiest one for us to keep track of, there is a chat function at the bottom of the screen there and you're welcome to type in your bids and they'll come up onto the screen. Now, very important, as a bid gets taken by me, Johnny and Josh will be in the background registering those bids up onto the screen. So you will see the bid flash up across the screen there. Now, if at any point you see that that bid turns green, that means we're on the market and we are selling the property. So at that point, I won't be referring the bid again. When the bidding stops, the property will sell. So if for any reason you can no longer hear me, uh, perhaps if you're using your AirPods and they run out of battery or whatever it might be, and you're relying purely on the visual on the screen, just understand that if that number is green, it's your time to get your bid to us if you're having any issues. So the easiest way to do that would be to call Josh or John if you are having issues using the portal. Their numbers are obviously listed on realestate.com next to the property, and they can ensure that you get your bids through to us. Uh, failing that, uh, we'll be calling the property down three times. On the first, second, third, and final call, when the contract hits my hand, like so. And at that point, ladies and gents, the property will be sold. No late bids counter will be accepted, and it's so important with an online option to make sure that you're getting your bids in there nice and early. Please don't leave it until the third and final call to go for that uh, momentary theatrical uh, bit where you leave it until the last minute, because if there is a temporary delay in uh, technology or something from my end or your end, you could end up missing out on the property. So please get in nice and early. We'll give you all fair warning. And uh, if you do find that at any point you're out and I'm asking you what uh, your plan is, just send through a quick message in the chat function saying, Tom, I'm out, and uh, that'll help things move along a little bit faster here this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the formalities of online auctions. I say it like it's the first time you've all been to one, but obviously these have become the norm for the last 18 to 24 months here in Melbourne. And ladies and gentlemen, when you look at the images flashing across the screen, what's not to love about number 42 Kinlock Avenue in Murrumbina? I know that so often we see family homes come onto the market Finding a single level family home as large as this and as generous in its proportions is very difficult indeed. Make no doubt about it. If you've got young children like I do, you'll know that stairs are fun for about a minute until uh, you get worried that one or two of them are going to fall down there at the same time as they're wrestling. Single level properties are perfect for families, ladies and gentlemen, and they are so hard to find because so often when you do them, people end up doing double story properties uh, to try and utilize as much of the land as they can. Here you've got the single level property in all of its glory. And it's an absolutely fantastic property. Built in 2009, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this property is brand new, folks. It is meticulously cared for. There is not a single thing out of place. I know the vendors have been very house proud people, having the cleaner come through frequently, having the decks oiled frequently. And it shows because not a single thing is out of place. There is absolutely nothing to do in the property, ladies and gentlemen. You can see all the images flashing across there, so I don't need to tell you about all the mod cons that you'd expect in a property like this. Stone bench tops, reverse cycle heating and cooling, all of the things that you could need and want. That uh, large double garage at the front of the property. Some of the things my vendors have loved, and certainly some of the things you might have missed uh, as you've come through the property, is that attic up the top, dust proof and completely full of storage. It means you can keep things up there and you don't have to be putting them in the garage, which uh, again, for a family buyer, is something that you don't see enough of and is a really big advantage for this property. I know what the thing that would get my wife here, the shoe cupboard in the master bedroom, a cupboard dedicated to the shoes. Uh, absolutely fantastic and a really well thought out floor plan. One of my favorite bits is coming in through the garage and straight into that walk through butler's pantry. You can literally take the bags in out of the garage and walk them straight into the pantry without having to cart around into the kitchen. So again, just a really well thought out family floor plan. The kids retreat tucked away to the side, meaning you don't need to have all of your kids' toys spilling across the living room floor. The vendors told me they've hosted parties of up to 80 people in this property, which seems incredible to even think about in this day and age. But I guess the point they were trying to make is it was comfortable, it was easy. The house has been built around that uh, entertaining aspect. It really is a great floor plan, and it's one that has uh, plenty of great spaces to utilise. Uh, from a street, ladies and gentlemen, within the McKinnon School Zone, what a great thing that's been for house prices in this area. You know that as soon as you mention School Zone in Melbourne, the price goes up. And not just today. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that because you know that you're investing in the future here, ladies and gentlemen. The zone has been increased for the first time in my 11 years in real estate, and I can't see it happening again. So what that means is, again, that's just going to maximise the price moving forward in the future. 
The vendors tell me they've loved the neighborhood. They've loved all of their neighbors. They've loved the trick-or-treating that's been happening in the streets. They've loved the fact that there's been money that's getting poured into Murrumbina Park and Duncan McKinnon. The choice of the two stations between Murrumbina Station and Hughesdale Station. You've got the cafes down the road on Murrumbina Road, Citizen Cafe and the Murrumbina Pantry, one of the local hotspots. There really is a range of things from a lifestyle location, ladies and gentlemen. Schools, parks, shops, everything you could want and more when you're buying at 42 Kinlock Avenue in Murrumbina. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to ramble on, but I will say this. Homes like this don't come up very often and they always, always sell for a little bit more than you're willing to spend. But week in, week out, we're seeing homes in 3163 sell for in excess of $2.5 million now. That's just what's happening in the suburb. So don't be afraid because you know that if you miss out on this one, you're going to have to spend more next week. That's just what's happening. I've been seeing some of the names uh, in this group coming through opens for six months, and uh, yet you always keep missing out. And if you just pushed yourself that little bit further a couple of months ago, you'd be into something with already having some capital growth. So the opportunity is right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to put it across to you now for a fair, reasonable start. 42 Kinlock Avenue, Murray Bean Advice, we're in your hands. Who'd like to bid us away here tonight? <laughs> Range of 189 to 199, something in the vicinity of 19, I would have thought would have been a nice gentle place to get the bidding going here this evening. Happy to place a vendor bid if I need to, 19, can we say? In your hands, buyers, 1.9, can we say? It's a fair, reasonable start. Jerry and I sold an unrenovated house around the corner for over $1.9 million last Thursday. One point nine buyers happy to place a vendor bid if I need to. I'm in your hands for a fair, reasonable start. If I place a vendor bid, you're bidding on top of me, though. Now's the chance to bid on your terms. One point nine million dollars vendor bid with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to call for a rise of fifty from there if I can. Heck, one point nine million dollars to bid now. Looking for a rise of fifty. Take it to one nine five if you'd like to go. Vendor bid with me now. One point nine million dollars to bid. Rise of 50 buyers, get yourself in now. $1.9 million to bid. I'll call it down three times for you all at 1.9 to bid now. Hey, 1.95. You, thank you very much, and all the very best of luck to you. Hey, 1950 to bid now. How about we go straight to two? Hey, 1950 I've got with you there, holding the highest bid at 1.95. Can we go to $2 million, ladies and gents? 195 I've got. Hey, 1950 to bid now. Strong rise of 50, take us to 2 million if you'd like to go, buyers. At 1.95 the bid. 1.95 million, I'll call it down three times. Surely you're not going to let him have it just that easy. First of all, now 1 million, 950 the bid. Second time now, 1.95. Third and final call, hit 1.95 the bid. 2 million, can we say? 2. Welcome to the bidding there, Catherine. We'll take you two over around the 196 there. At 2 million, the bid now, I've got it. 2 million dollars even, I've got you. What do you say? Do you want to come in for 2 million and 50? Keep those 50s going. Is that 2 million and 50? You, I assume it is. At 2 million dollars a bid, can I just get a confirmation that that's 2 million and 50,000? At 2 million dollars a bid with Catherine. You, can we say 2 million and 50,000 dollars? Is that what the bid was? Just confirming. If you could just send through a yes there, you. Catherine's holding the highest bid at 2 million. Just confirming that's 2 million and 50,000. Thank you very much. 2 million and 50,000 dollars a bid there with you. Where to from here, Catherine? At 2 million and 50, the bid, the bid's against you now. Hey, 2 million and 50, the bid with you. Holding the highest bid now. What are we going to do from here, Catherine? At 2 million and 50, the bid's against you now. First call with you at 2 million and 50, the bid. Second call now, 2 million and 50, I've got. Third and final call. Hit 2 million and 50 the bid. I'll take you 25, Catherine, at 75. Use same opportunity at 2.1. Hit 2 million and 75 with Catherine the bid now. Same opportunity for the rest of you. If you want to go into 25s now, happy to take it at 2 million and 75. I've got. Hit 2 million and 75 the bids with Catherine. You, can we say, need them 2.1 now? Hit 2 million and 75 the bid. First time now, 2 million and 75. Catherine's holding the highest bid. Second time now, two million and seventy-five. Third and final call. Hit two million and seventy-five to bid with Catherine. Two point one, can we say? 
Two million and seventy-five. Catherine holding the highest bid now. Yep, two million and seventy-five. I've got you. Can we say another twenty-five, Cat? Welcome to the bidding. At two point one, all the very best of luck to you, Cat. Two million one hundred thousand. The bid now, Catherine. Can we say twenty-five? At two point one, the bid now. You, I haven't forgotten you either. Two point one, the bid there with Cat. Yep, two million one hundred thousand dollars. We're bid looking for a rise of twenty-five from here. Yep, two point one, the bid. I'll call it down three times. At two point one. One, two, five. Thank you very much, you, and welcome back to you. Cat, can we say two, one, fifty? At two million, one, twenty-five, I've got. Pet, two point, one, two, five, the bid now with you. Let's go to two point, one, five from here. Two million, one hundred and twenty-five thousand, the bid. Let's call now at two million, one, twenty-five. You's holding the highest bid. Cat, can we say two point, one, five? Second call now, two million, one hundred and twenty-five. Third and two million, one, fifty. There it is with Cat. Pet 2.15, the bid. Haven't forgotten you either, Catherine. Can we say 175 now? Pet 2 million, 150, the bid. Can we say 75? 2 million, 150, the bid there with Cat. You, what about it? 75, can we say? 2 million, 150,000 dollars on bid. Pet 2.15, the bid now. First call at 2 million, 150,000 dollars a bid. Second call, 2 million, 150. Third and final call. Do we say 75? Six. Catherine, I'll take it. Welcome back to you at six now the bid. Pet 2,160. Same opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. 2,170 if you'd like to go. At 160 the bid now with Catherine. Cat, you, can we say 70? Pet 2.16 the bid now. 70 the bid there with Cat. Pet 2,170. Catherine, can we say 2,180 the rise? Pet 2,170. Cat's holding the highest bid there. 2,180 if you'd like to go. Pet 2,170 the bid now. 180 I've got with Catherine. Cat, can we say 90? At 218 the bid, 90, there it is. 2.2 can I say? I've got it with Cat holding the highest bid at 2,190,000. Cat's got the highest bid there, you. Can we say On the market, Tom? On the market and selling buyers at 2,190,000. Cat Warren's holding the highest bid. If you'd like to come back in, you, can we say 2.2 now? At 2,190,000 the bid. Just waiting for that to update it. 2,190,000 the bid. We're on the market and selling. Cat's holding the highest bid. Catherine, can you come back in for 2.2? You, what about it? Can you say 2.2? First call now for 2,190,000. Won't be referring the bid here today. You heard it loud and clear, folks. Second call now, 2,190,000. Third and final call, at 2.19 the bid, 2.195. I'm going to take it, Catherine, but let's roll in 10 buyers. At 2.195 the bid, 2,195,000 I've got. Can we say 2.05, 2.2? Now 2.21, Catherine, can we say? 2.2 is a bid with Cat. Let's go for a rise of 10. 2.2 I've got. What about it, you? Haven't forgotten you there either. Can we say 2,210,000 the bid? At 2.2 the bid now. Call it down three times at 2.2. First call now, 2,210,000. Thank you very much. Cat, 20. Thank you. 30, Catherine. 20 I've got with Cat. 2,220,000. Cat's holding the highest bid. Can we say 30? At 2,220,000 to bid there with Cat, can we say 30? We're out. Thank you very much, Catherine. Now's my time to speak. How about another one of those fives? 2,225,000. What's going to keep you in it? How about you? I haven't forgotten you either, you. Are we out tonight? At 2,220,000 to bid. Cat's holding it there. At 2.22 to bid. Post call now, 2,220,000. 225. Welcome to the bidding there, Kev. At 2,225,000 the bidding. Cat, 2,230,000 if you'd like to go now. At 2,225,000, new face in the race. Kev's holding the highest bid at two and two and a quarter. At 2.26 the bid now. 2,220, sorry, is that, I'm not going to take a thousand just yet, Cat. I think that might have been an attempt at a thousand dollar bid. Can we say 30? At 2,226,000 the bid now. Kev's got the highest bid. Let's go to 2.30. Two million two hundred twenty-six thousand dollars. I'm a little bit. Uh, I've confused myself here, Johnny. I think the last bid was at two million two hundred twenty-five with Kev. I'm yeah, calling two, for a five. Two twenty-five. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll go back to the two twenty-five with Kev. Cat, happy to invite you back in for a five if you'd like to go. At two million two hundred twenty-five, <coughs> Kev's holding the highest bid there, and we're calling for a rise of five. At two million two hundred twenty-five, Cat, can we say two million two thirty now? At 2,225,000, the bid. 2,30 if you'd like to come back now. First call now. Kev's holding the highest bid at 2,225,000. Second call, 
2.30. Thank you very much, Cap. We'll keep rolling in fives, Kev. Can we say 35? 2,230,000 and Cat's holding it. Let's go 35 now at 2,230,000 to bid. Cat's got it and it's against you, Kev. Can we say 35 at 2,230,000 to bid there with Cat? First call now, 2,230,000. Second call, 2,235,000. Thank you and welcome back. 35 to bid now. 40, can we say, Cat? At 2,235,000 to bid. Let's go to 40. There it is, 2,240,000. What about 50, Kev? Do we go a rise of 10? 2,240,000. If Cat's holding the highest bid, let's say 50. 2,240,000 to bid now. At 2.24, the bid, can we say two and a quarter? Two, there it is, 2,250. At 2,250,000 to bid. At 2,250,000 in Kev's holding it. Cat, how about the 10s? Let's go to 260. 2,250,000 is the bid. We'll wait for it to update on the screen. 2,250,000 I've got with Kev. Looking for a rise of 10 if we can, Cat, at $2,250,000 a bid now. At 2.25, the bid, can we say 2.26? At $2,250,000, first call now, $2,250,000. Second call, $2,250,000. Third and six, thank you. $2,260,000 the bid now. Cat's holding the highest bid at $2,260,000. I think uh, our bidder there is, uh, I hope he's not getting stuck into the beers behind the scene there, Josh, at 2,260,000. At 2.26 the bid, Cat's holding the highest bid, Kev, can we call it 270? 2,260,000 the bid now with Cat, rise at 10 if you'd like to keep going. At 2.26 the bid, first time now, 2,260,000. Let's go to 70. 70 is the bid now with Kev. Cat, can we say 80? Or be bold, take it to 2.3. 2,270,000. Kev's holding the highest bid, and it's against you now, Cap. At 2,270,000 to bid, what's it going to be to keep you in it? First call now, 2,270,000. Are we going to go to 80, or do we want to try a bigger increment? 2,270,000 to bid with Kev. Second call now. What's it going to be, Cap? Ball's in your court. Third and final call at 2.27 to bid with Kev. All done. All silent. What's it going to be, Cap? Do you want to go 2,280? Another 10? We've been running in 10s. There it is at 2,280. Thank you. Kev, how about that strong knockout bid at 2.3? At 2,280, the bid there with Cap. I recommend a rise of 20 from here. Be the confident bidder. At 2,228,000, the bid now. 2,280, I should say. 2,290 now with Kev. At 2,290,000, dollars a bid. We're out. Are you sure, Cap? If you're leaving your run to the last minute, now's the time to speak, buyers. At 2,290,000 to bid with Kev. You've been with us for so long, Cap. What about a five? I'm happy to take a smaller rise now. I'll even take a two and a half, Cap. What's going to keep you in it? I know you asked before and I shut it down. I'm happy to take it now. Pointy end of the auction. 2,290,000 to bid. Can we say two and a half? One more roll of the dice. You never know. What if 2.3 is the limit? 2,290,000 to bid. Kev's holding it. Ladies and gents, if this is the time you've been waiting for, if you're waiting for the last minute, now is the time to speak. This house looks cheap when you consider that number two, Lindsay Avenue, just the other night, sold for two million, one million nine hundred and twenty, and it needed work. It needed a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. There's still hundreds of thousands of dollars of value in this home just here, ladies and gents. Two million two hundred and ninety, the bid now. Kev's got the highest bid, and we definitely out, Cat. Last opportunity for you all, buyers. Happy to take a two and a half thousand dollar rise if it keeps you in it. First time now, two million two ninety. Kev's holding the highest bid. And uh, if you're just joining us in the nick of time, you're leaving it until the last minute. Two point two nine a bid on the market and selling. Kev's got the highest bid there. Second call now. This is your chance, buyers. Don't leave it until the third and final call. I warned you about this. Now's the time to speak. Because on the third and final call, we're going to have a new buyer in Murrumbina. And at the moment, it's Kev. Third and final call. You've been given fair warning, buyers. We're on the market and selling at 2290000 First, second, third and final call. We are selling. Selling. So congratulations, Kev. Commiserations, Kat, and the other underbidders. Thank you very much for attending tonight. We'll be in touch with you in a few moments, Kev. Have a great day. Thank you.